in worldwide the packaging industry holds 2% of the gross national product without effective packaging the aim of preservation and cooling processes will not be fulfilled that is baking and canning processes certain processes like drying and freezing requires protective packaging after processing to prevent the product from the effects of light air water vapor microbial and other contaminants the growth in the packaging sector has transformed the methods of food preservation earlier to a decade all the industrial made raw meat and poultry products were available only in frozen form nowadays with the invent of modified atmospheric packaging these products are available in chilled form with the use of correct choices of gases and gas impermeable packaging materials the respirable packaging films are responsible for the intercontinental marketing of fresh cuts fruits and vegetables packaging is playing a progressive vital part in the whole food chain that is from crop to cup therefore the food product is having direct contact only once before reaching to the hands of the end user novel methods of active packaging system intelligent packaging system and modified and controlled atmosphere packaging systems has been developed to look up the feet of packaging for facing those various demands all the innovative packaging methods are having enormous commercial prospective to improve the safety and quality with lesser or without preservatives and other additives objective of this lecture is that to understand the concept of product safety and nutritional quality identify different types of packagings and their effect on nutritional quality let us first start with active and intelligent packaging active and intelligent packagings are packaging that modifies the state of the packed food to progress its safety or sensory properties to lengthen its shelf life while enabling the quality of the packaged food intelligent packaging system observes the state of packed food and it provides information about the quality of the food product which is inside the package during storage and transport physical processes chemical processes physiological processes microbiological aspects and infestation or the important aspects which are responsible to determine the shelf life of the packaged foods active packaging systems are helpful to regulate these aspects we will discuss few things about active packaging techniques three types of active packaging techniques are there absorbers releasing systems and other systems absorbers or scavengers system get rid of unwanted compounds such as excessive water carbon dioxide argon ethylene tains and other precise compounds addition or emission of compounds such as carbon dioxide antioxidants to the packaged food or into its head space is done by releasing systems other systems perform diversified functions such as preservation self cooling and self heating absorbers and releasers can be of any sachet label or film type depending on the physical form of active packaging system sachets are positioned in the head space of the package whereas labels are adhered to the lid of the package direct contact of the absorbers with food should be avoided to overcome the damages in the function and migration problems some films or materials are having antimicrobial properties and those materials can be categorized into two types 
first one materials which is not having direct contact with the food in this type of films active substance discharges into the head space of the packet second one is materials which is having direct contact with the food in this type of films they must be in contact with the surface of the food well known and widely used method of active packaging technology is to eliminate unwanted materials from the head space of a package by adsorption absorption or scavenging in a share shape form a physical or chemical absorption or adsorbent is integrated and this assay can be used as a packaging material now we will discuss about augustion scavenging technology existence of augustion is responsible to create food deterioration oxidation of food constituents and production of aerobic bacteria molds and other insects are caused by the presence of augustion physical methods of augustion elimination like modified atmospheric packaging and vacuum packaging do not always remove the augustion completely some augustion is left in the package many of the oxidation reactions and production of mold can be propagated even in the presence of traces of augustion Augustion scavengers are having the ability to cut down the augustion concentration to less than 0.01 percentage. These scavengers react with the augustion by enzymatically or chemically and protect packaged food against quality changes due to augustion and deterioration completely. The scavenging action begins immediately when the sachet is exposed to air in self reacting type scavengers because of the presence of moisture in sachet moisture dependent type of oxygen scavengers react after taking up the moisture from the food products before consumption of these sachet they are stable in open air the other method is ethylene scavenging technology Ethylene is a simple chemical molecule which occurs in a nature. The alkanes present in ethylene normalize growth and deterioration of several fruits and vegetables. Part per million to part per billion concentrations are effective for this purpose. Ethylene is having some positive effects that is degreening of citrus fruit. At the same time it is having harmful effects on the quality and shelf life of fruit and vegetables there should not be build up of ethylene in the packaging of fruits and vegetables to extend shelf life and maintain good organoleptic quality next type is carbon dioxide scavengers respiration and deterioration reactions are responsible for the formation of carbon dioxide in few foods to avoid food deterioration and packaging destruction the produced carbon dioxide has to be eliminated from the package the carbon dioxide generated increases the internal pressure causing the packaging to burst calcium hydroxide is the frequently used reactant to forage carbon dioxide it reacts with carbon dioxide and create calcium carbonate at higher water activity level the emerging method active packaging technique is antimicrobial food packaging antimicrobial food packaging is having the ability to kill or prevent the pathogenic microorganisms and inhibits the contamination of foods antimicrobial agents are included in packaging system to attain the antimicrobial function this system confines or avoids the growth of microorganism by broadening the lag period or dropping the growth rate or lessening the 
live counts of microorganisms. Curdal technology is the basic principle of antimicrobial package. The additional antimicrobial function of this packaging system put a stop to the deprivation of total quality of packaged food at the same time this packaging system has to fulfill the conventional tasks of oxygen and moisture barriers. Now we will look about intelligent packaging techniques. Indicators used for the quality control of packed food are used in the intelligent package. There are two types of indicators. First one is external indicators that is time temperature indicators. Second one is internal indicators that is microbial growth indicators, pathogen indicators, oxygen and carbon dioxide indicators. Let us now see about time temperature indicators. Temperature is important post processing parameter for the shelf life of the food product, good manufacturing and hygiene practice. Therefore, monitoring and controlling of temperature is highly important. Low cost method of monitoring the temperature of food products individually is necessary to ensure the safety and quality of the food product. The complete and partial temperature history of a food product can be revealed by a time temperature indicator or integrator. It is a simple inexpensive device and it can be attached to the food product. The principle of TTI operation is a chemical, electrochemical, enzymatic or microbiological irreversible change and mechanical change. These changes are generally expressed as a visible response as a color development or color movement and mechanical deformation. These changes are depending on temperature and increasing with higher temperature. The next type of intelligent packaging technique is freshness indicators or microbial growth indicators. The incidence of microbial metabolites formed during spoilage will create a color change in the indicator tag in the most of the freshness indicators. We will look about indicators sensitive to pH change. The incidence of volatile compounds formed during spoilage of the food products modifies the color of the pH dyes. This is common base for these indicators. An appreciable multiplication of bacteria creates an irreversible change in visual appearance and it will be exhibited by these indicators. The theory of these indicators is pH change induced by microbial growth which leads to the spoilage of the food product. The creation of carbon dioxide by the growth of microorganisms is indicated by pH dye. For finding out the microbial contamination, the rays of carbon dioxide can be used as an indicator. The next type of indicators are sensitive to volatile nitrogen compounds. These types of indicators are commonly used to show the freshness of seafood by reacting with volatile amines and producing color change. In this type of indicators, a reagent containing wick is included in a plastic. The sharp barb on the back of the label pierces the packaging film while the label gets affixed to the package. This action will allow the reagent to have contact with the package headspace gases. A bright pink color is formed along the wick when volatile amines pass through the wick. Chromogenic dye which is infused on a paper disc is used for determining the volatile nitrogen compounds. The release of volatile compounds from cord stored on ice will alter the reflectance spectrum of the indicator disc. Indicators sensitive to hydrogen sulphide are also be used. The reaction between hydrogen sulphide and myoglobin is measured as a freshness indicator for the quality control of meat. During the aging of packaged poultry, significant amounts of hydrogen sulphide are generated which will cause the color change of myoglobin. This reaction serves as a freshness indicator. In small squares of agarose, a sodium phosphate buffer incorporated with commercial myoglobin is applied to create this type of indicators. 
the deterioration of the product quality is communicated by the change of color by myoglobin based indicators next type is indicators sensitive to miscellaneous microbial metabolites Chromogenic substrates, peroxide and alcohol oxidase are used for detecting respiring products by measuring ethanol in the headspace of unacceptable package. A diamine dye based sensor system countering to the incident of diacetyl vapor is also used. Diacetyl is a volatile compound developing from the meat as it, it gets spoiled. In the surface of gas permeable meat package, the dye can be printed. Diacetyl penetrates through the packaging material, reacts with the dye and bring the color change. Now, we will see the other principles of freshness indicating system. Contaminating microbes produce homogenic substances of enzymes that will create color change. Based on this concept also, an indicator is developed. This indicator can be used for finding out the contamination in the liquid healthcare product. A knife type freshness probe for meat is also developed. Microbial growth of the meat consumes glucose from the surface of meat. This will form a glucose gradient and this is also can be used for freshness detection. The deprivation of liquid membrane by the action of microbes and the successive dispersion of colored compound is also one of the principles of the indicator for the detection of microorganisms. Pathogen indicators are also available. Indicators for detecting certain contaminants in the food product have also been developed. When the analyte comes in contact with the material, it will combine to a specific labeled antibody at first and then to a confining antibody printed as a certain pattern. Argusion indicators are also there. This is the last one in this category. The commercially available argusion sensitive packaging indicators guarantee the proper performance of argusion absorption. When argusion reaches a zero concentration at 25 degrees Celsius, the indicator tablet changes from blue into pink within 2 to 3 hours and then it will again turn into blue in about 5 minutes when it is contact with augustion. An augustion indicator consists of a redox dye which is a reducing compound. The indicator can be prepared as a printed layer. Color change of the oxidation reaction is detected by the redox dye which is present in the indicator. An alkaline compound is also added to the indicator to maintain the pH. Let us now look about the non-migratory bioactive polymers. Non-migratory bioactive polymers possesses biological activity even if the active components do not migrate from the polymer to the substrate. Bioactive materials are based on molecules that obtain a response from living system. Now we will discuss few things about modified atmospheric package. Fresh fruits and vegetables are having good trend of growth in the global market. The rising consumer demand for fresh, healthy and additive free product items is the important reason for this demand. Freshly prepared produce items are extremely perishable and highly subjected to microbial growth, enzymatic discoloration and moisture loss and these will lead to the spoilage. Suitable use of modified atmospheric packaging followed with good manufacturing and handling practices are comparatively reducing these spoilage mechanisms and prolonging shelf life of the food product. We can achieve minimum wastage in manufacturing and retail display, extended distribution channels, the capacity to trade value added, fresh make and suitable food products to the consumer along with the shelf life extension. The fresh produce is stored in hermetically sealed packs. The reduction of oxygen and enhancement of carbon dioxide occurs and this will affect the respiration of the product. Modification of the internal packaging atmosphere reduces the rate of respiration and thereby it will extend the shelf life of the product. Due to the product respiration, modified atmosphere can passively change within hermetically air sealer packs.
A desired mixture of nitrogen, carbon dioxide and oxygen will be used for substituting the packed atmosphere and it will may be useful to create some suitable EMA. Under MAP, let us see about high oxygen MAP now. High oxygen MAP is highly efficient at avoiding anaerobic fermentation reactions, retarding enzymatic discolorations and preventing the growth of microorganisms. The food products packed in inexpensive hermetically sealed plastic films with high oxygen MAP can be stored for longer duration. This type of packages avoids unwanted moisture and odor losses and access of microorganisms during wet handling situations. It is assumed that when oxidative stresses overcome cellular protection systems, active oxygen radical species injure important cellular macromolecules and thereby slow up microbial growth. The next type is nitrous oxide and organ MAP. Nitrous oxide and organ are miscellaneous additives and currently utilized in MAP. Organ can more efficiently hinder microbial growth degradative chemical reactions and enzymatic activity in certain delicate foods. Nitrous oxide and organ are having the capacity of prolonging shelf life by reducing ethylene emissions, preventing fungal growth and reducing the rate of sensory quality deterioration. Now we will see about freshly prepared food product application. High oxygen MAP is having more advantageous effects on the organoleptical properties of the most of the freshly prepared food products. In modernized MAP applications for fresh products, high oxygen MAP is efficient for expanding the attainable shelf life of the retail packs of the fresh products. At last, let us discuss about MAP of non-respiring food products. Oxygen should be expelled from the atmosphere of the non-respiring food products package. Modified atmosphere packaged food products have to be kept under refrigerated condition and carbon dioxide has to be allowed to dissolve and execute its antimicrobial action. Chemical degradation reactions at these chilled conditions are having only a restricted import. There are some post-harvest treatments which is unquestionably preventing the action of oxidative enzymes and reduce adverse processes and thereby progress the quality of the food product. Increased carbon dioxide or reduced oxygen atmospheres decrease the respiration rate and methane production rates of fresh fruits and vegetables in the storage. Optimum controlled atmosphere prevents the biosynthesis of carotenoids and anthocyanins, oxidation of phenolic compounds and loss of chlorophyll. Let us summarize the points so far discussed in the given lecture. Product safety is the general term used to describe the policies designed to protect people from risk associated with the thousands of consumer products they buy and use every day. Active packaging is having the ability to modify the state of the packed food to expand its shelf life or to progress its safety or sensory properties while maintaining the quality of the packaged food. Three types of active packaging techniques are there, absorbers, releasing systems and other systems. Antimicrobial packaging is having the ability to kill or prevent the pathogenic microorganisms and inhibits the contamination of the food. Intelligent packaging system absorbs the state of packed foods and it provides information about the quality of the food product which is inside the package during storage and transport. Non-migratory bioactive polymers possesses biological activity even if the active components do not migrate, migrate from the polymer to the substrate. Suitable use of modified atmospheric packaging followed with a good Manufacturing and handling practices are comparatively reducing these spoilage mechanisms and prolonging shelf life of the food products. Thank you.